I'm going to show you how to construct a state machine in Ptolemy 2. Here I've got a simple model that has a synchronous data flow director and a ramp source that will produce a counting sequence and a plotter. In the utilities menu, I can drag in a modal model and populate it with ports. I can right click or control click on the Mac and customize the ports and add an input port named in and an output port named out and commit and connect and now I have the possibility of creating a component with several different states with different behaviors. I right click and look inside this actor and I have the ports that I just created reflected and a comment. Let me change the comment and describe what I'd like to do. Instead of the generic comment, I would like to uh, copy the input to the output until the input has value 5. Then, subsequently, produce value 0. So that's my goal. So I have two states. I have a state where I'm copying the inputs to the outputs and a state where I'm producing 0. The state where I'm copying the inputs to the output will be the initial state indicated by this bold outline. I should rename that state and give it a more reasonable name, like copy, and give the other state a more reasonable name, like zero. And then I want to, I start in the copy state, and now I want to, each time I receive an input, I want to copy the input to the output. So the way to do that is going to be to create a transition back from this copy state to itself. So I hold the control key, or on the Macintosh, the command key, and create a transition back to itself. Then, in addition, when the input is 5, I'm going to want to create a transition from the copy to the 0 state. And when I'm in the 0 state, I want to create a transition back to itself. Again, you hold the control key or the command key to create these transitions. Now, I have to specify when these transitions should occur. So the transition from copy to zero should occur when the input is equal to five. And at that point, the output should be for the first time zero. Now, the transition from zero back to itself should simply produce an output of zero and this transition should always occur, so the guard should be zero. Now the transition here I can specify as a default transition, which means that it will become active when no other transition is active, and the output should simply have the value of the input. So now I have a simple state machine that will begin in this initial state, as long as the input is not equal to 5, it will copy the input to the output by taking this transition. When the input is equal to 5, it will take this transition and produce an output of 0. Uh, and subsequently, it will produce 0. If I then close that submodel and execute this, I find that, in fact, the, it produces the counting sequence until the input is 5, and then at that point, it subsequently produces 